Super Rugby Altered All Round number nine. Chiefs against Hurricanes. Still a fair bit to play for. Not so much for the Canes. The Canes are pretty much playing for pride at this point. But the Chiefs want to be securing second spot. And could even track down first. Although the Crusaders still uh, already have one hand on that position. The, the Crusaders would need to lose to the Blues. And then the Chiefs would need to win this game and their game next week to overtake them. So... Uh, yeah, the Crusaders are at home to the Blues in the game after this one the following day. So uh, all the Chiefs can do is what's in their control and win as many games as they can from the two they've got remaining. So uh, yeah, we'll go through some of the stats, the players, and uh, how you think these games may go. We'll go with the predictions as well. And yeah, see how things tick along. Uh, the Chiefs are 4-2, and two, second after their four-match winning run. Win over the aforementioned Crusaders last week. Uh, the Hurricanes has not gone their way this season. One from five. Uh, looking at their squad at the start of the season, and as soon as um, Simon Hickey got injured, Jackson Garden Bishop got injured, TJ Pedernada's over in um, in Japan, it never quite looked like it was going to be the season for the Canes, and that's that's how it's panned out. But they haven't been like that far off the pace. They took the Crusaders' golden point time to beat these guys, so... The record is not that good, but the team's not that bad. So it should still be a pretty good game. Uh, it was a close one in round four. It was 35 points to 29. Uh, the Chiefs getting the win away from home in that one. Um, it's kind of a similar margin that's being predicted for this one, to be fair. Uh, the Hurricanes have uh, made a few changes. Obviously, Adi Savi is out long-term injured. So Dane Coles takes over the captaincy from him and Duplessis Karifi takes over the number seven jersey. Apart from his discipline or just like the indiscretions, I feel like he's a top-class player, man. He just gives away too many penalties. Um, Coles, Lomax, and Numia, that's the front row. Coles at two and Numia, Lomax at one and three, respectively. Blackwell and Scrafton's four and five. Uh, Scrafton's up from the bench in this one. He's just signed a contract extension with the Canes, so he's going to be around a wee bit longer. Princep Karifi, as I mentioned, at Flanders is 6, 7, and 8. So Karifi is the only change uh, there. Campbell and Ruben Love are 9, 10. And Ruben Love, man, he looked all right. And the last game that he played, he's only had that one start at 10 for the Hurricanes, but he wasn't bad. So give the guy some more time, and we'll see how he develops for a teenager. Pretty good. Uh, Laumape and Peter Umanga Jensen are 12 and 13. Interesting season from Laumape. Like, I've still kind of got him as their key man. But when you look at his stats, like he's the, the ninth overall for for Super Rugby in terms of Super Rugby Aotearoa in terms of like run meters, and he's uh, ninth overall for like clean breaks. But defenders beaten, he's not on the he's not on like the top guys chart, which used to be his thing. But he's really shifted his game around this season to be, uh, you know, he's he's getting his run meters. He's a distribution man. He puts kicks through. But he's not a blockbusting, you know, uh, you know, battering ram of a player like he used to be. So it's a bit of a switch. I guess he is like 28 now. So maybe he's having to take care of his body a bit better. Not sure. Maybe he's just looking to, to give to the selectors at All Blacks level what they, they wanted. But I hope it's not at the detriment of what he's naturally very good at. Uh, Reyes is back in the squad at 11. I'm pretty happy about that because I feel like he's been the Cajun's best winger of the season. Even if Jason Holland said off the ball, he's not doing enough. Uh, Houston is at 14. He's shifted from the left wing, and Jordy Barrett is there at 15. Uh, the bench, Almoa is still there. Fidel is still there. Walkalia Wede drops to the bench to make place for Scrafton, uh, for Fita, and uh, Proctor and whatnot. So, yeah, for the home side for the Chiefs, another injury worry. Luke Jacobson is out apparently for the season with concussion. You've still got no Tupaya, uh, you've got no Sam Kane, so the injury list is pretty long in Chiefs Town, but it hasn't stopped their performance levels from going up. Uh, very stable lineup, you'd have to say. The one big change is DMAC is moving back to fullback and Gatland is in at 10. Otherwise, it's still Ross, Tokiahu, and Ta'aval. And interestingly enough, uh, their numbers at scrum time are really good. Vai and Akoi is a really good young locking duo who have proven themselves to be pretty useful. Uh, Mitch Brown, Lachlan Boshia, and Sol Kula moves into number eight because Jacobson is out. Uh, Boshia's only had that one game back, but he's a, he's a big threat, man. Tackles, breakdown, 
uh, you know, even try scoring. He's he's just always there or thereabouts. So if there's one bright side to the Sam Kane injury is that Lachlan Bush here comes in to, to play as natural seven. Uh, Weber and Gatlin is the 19 combo. Like I mentioned, Weber's captain. Gatland, he's had a really limited minutes the season with Trask being preferred, so good chance for him to stand up. Nankerville, ALB is 12-13. Uh, Nankerville, pretty good ball in hand. Defensively, still needs to be tidy, especially with Lamapi up against you. Uh, ALB, I think, has been the form midfielder of Super Rugby Aotearoa just across the board. He's just into everything. Uh, Nana Saturo, low, and DMAC is the back three. The bench has Tia Tia drop down. Finau's come in. Mafaleo is still there. Harris is still there. Tahuri Arangi. Boshia, the other one, that's Kalem. Yeah, pretty pretty stable starting 15. Both sides have kind of tried to keep the changes to a minimum. Uh, starting 15 changes like, you know, three for the Canes and just the two for the um, two for the Chiefs. So, yeah, pretty minimal changes. Uh, if you look at the tail of the tape, the kind of head-to-head stuff, both sides have scored 15 tries, which is fourth equal. There's no fifth because there's no bottom side. These two teams are the least try-scoring teams in Super Rugby Aotearoa, which is interesting that the Chiefs are still in a positive record and the Hurricanes are down the bottom. Um, the Blues have had 22 and they're the next team up, so that's the difference, 15 to 22. But uh, these teams have got game in hand from memory. I have to double-check. Uh, tackling percentage, the the uh, Hurricanes are at uh, like 84%. They're fourth. The Chiefs are at 86. They're second. Um, the line-outs, the Chiefs has been poor it's the fourth best but the hurricanes has been worst it is the fifth uh, 81 percent success rate but that being said against the crusaders last week the chiefs line out was absolutely flawless um scrum percentage actually strangely enough both these sides are the top two sides in super rugby on uh scrum stats though can be a wee bit deceptive uh if you look at the man i already mentioned lamape with his run meters and his clean breaks needs a big game uh dmac you'd have to say for for the chiefs back at 15 He's like their top try scorer with three tries. He's like uh, got the fifth most carries in Super Rugby Aotearoa. He's got the fourth most defenders beaten. He is just a part of everything that the Chiefs uh, do pretty well. So, uh, yeah, I think he's the top point scorer in Super Rugby Aotearoa as well. He is, um, he is just such a key, key man. But anyway, we'll see how things go. Um, as I said, a pretty important one for the Chiefs. They will need to, they will need to come out absolutely guns blazing. And show us that they are potentially the best team in New Zealand. But anyway, uh, the predictions for this one. The bookies have got the Chiefs by six points at home. The rugby forecast algorithm has the Chiefs by six points at home. The last time they played, it was the Chiefs by six points. So that seems to be where the thinking is at. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. How do you think these sides are going to go? They're both missing their captains, Adi Savia and Sam Kane. So uh, key men for them. I mean, a key man for the Hurricanes would be Savia, but he's just not available, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. If you got this far through the video, please do drop a like on it. It does help out with all the YouTube algorithm input stuff. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.